Hello and welcome back to Web Knowledge. Today I am having GWN Multi WAN Gigabit VPN Router. The network series of the router is GWN700. So all three routers are having GWN7001, 7002, and 7003. Today I am having GWN7002 with me and I am going to show you the web interface and features of the router. So let me quickly log in the device. So now I log in the device and you can see the first impression of the device and its overview dashboard. In the overview you can see the network connection. It is showing the network when port is up and showing the data. Here you can see the network traffic, download and upload traffic, access devices that means your network access points, grand stream access points and the connected clients, 2.4G clients, 5G connect, 5G clients and wired clients. Client speeds, app traffic statics, top clients, top SSIDs and then in port info you can see the port information which port is up and connected to the network. So the sixth port of the device is POE output Pi port is PoE output and the port number 3 is PoE input and we are using it as a WAN port and rest of the ports are LAN port. It has 2 SFP gigabit ports and 4 Ethernet gigabit ports and 1 USB port to connect your USB and you can share the content to the connected clients. So here you can see in the system info you can see the model number, system version, MAC address, devices. In network settings, port configuration you can see port settings and you can change the port settings, speeds you can change for the particular ports, you can customize the POE output and you can set 12.8 volt and 24.8 volt. Then you can set WAN port and you can use all the ports as WAN or some of the ports WAN and some of the ports as LAN. And it has the default IP address is 192.168.80.1, same as previous routers ZWN7062 and 7052. You can create multiple VLANs, you can assign to the VLAN and create DSCP for particular VLAN as well. Then you can check the connected clients, you can create VPN for your remote locations, site to site connectivity, IPsec, PPTP, OpenVPN, L2TP, you can create policy for the connected devices or to share traffic on between the two WAN ports or multiple WAN ports. You can create load balancing and failover as well. In traffic management you can you can see the traffic statics. In QoS you can assign quality of service for particular ports. You can define the rules. You can define tag outbound traffic, web setting and in app QS you can Define the QS for the application as well. And a, an AP management, you can control the access points and add to the GWN700 series router. You can assign SSIDs to the access points. You can control radio setting. You can connect the access point in the mass mode as well from the router. 
and in excess control you can blow you can blow some of the MAC address and assign to the SSID it also having safe search so it will give you Bing and Google and YouTube for safe search content in external access you can set DDNS port forwarding DMZ UPnP and firewall rules in firewall rules you have general setting DOS defense spoofing defense rules policy content security the most awaiting feature has been added to the class team networking solution so we can do DNS filtering app filtering and UR filtering which was not available in previous router you can define the traffic rules for inbound outbound and forwarding rules it also supports advanced net that means source net address translation and destination net address translation it also supports application layer gateway so you can define ALG for SIP protocol RTSP protocols it also supports captive port it supports captive portal for Wi-Fi clients so you can define policy you can create splash page and currently this supports only free simple password and radius server option so these are the main features of the access point and it supports also TR069 SNMP you can do backup restore and reset the router from here you can do diagnosing you can do system diagnostics like ping trace route core file generation capture you can take the network capture for particular ports external syslog ARP cache table link tracing table network diagnostic and PoE diagnostic you can upgrade the router from here you can upload the file or you can just copy the firmware server path of grand stream and just and then detect new version it will give you the pop-up message the new version is available then you can upgrade and in alert and notification you can see the alerts available we can set the alert notification setting for particular memory uses threshold, AP offline time, AP throughput, SSID throughput, client throughput and much more in system setting you can define your location and you can set the time zone as well in manager setting you can control it for security management you can change the password you can change HTTPS port you can disable WAN web access SSH service you can enable or disable it passwordless remote access so this feature is available only when you add the device to the GWN cloud so when you click on your GWN cloud portal to access the device it will be logged in your router without having login credentials it supports scheduling for SSID or other features you can up create certificate for uh, open VPN or other VPN services and file service is available only when you connect the USB device and you can do file sharing so this is the overall overview of GWN7002 router and you can use it for Soho and large customers as well. Thank you for watching my video. I am requesting all the viewers please subscribe my channel and do like and comment on the videos. Thank you.